Hi everyone, my name is Scott Edwards, BJ Professional here at Riyadh Golf Club in Saudi Arabia, and I'm here with Golf Digest Middle East to introduce the chip shot. A chip shot is played when we're close to the green, but not quite on the green. The objective with this shot is to get the ball up into the air and rolled out as close to the flag or as close to our target as possible. Now, depending on the situation that we find ourselves in on the golf course, sometimes we might want that ball to go higher or lower, roll more or roll less. The primary way we're going to control this is down to which club we're going to be using. For the demonstration here today, what I'm going to be using is two clubs. We're going to use a sand wedge, which has got a lot of loft, a lot of angle, which is going to help that ball go higher into the air, and a seven iron, which has much less angle to it, so that ball is going to come out much lower, and as a result, Jamie's going to roll a lot further. But regardless of which club I'm using, the way that I set up to the ball remains the same. To begin with, let's talk about the way we want to hold the club, where the hands are placed, as this is going to be slightly different to what we do in the full swing. For a right-handed golfer, I'm going to be placing my left hand towards the end of the, end of the uh, grip, with the right hand placed just below. So very similar to what we would be doing in the full swing. However, what we're going to do with, uh, with these chip shots is experiment with where we place the hands on the grip itself. Because this swing is quite short, making the club itself a little shorter can make it easier to control the distance and control the strike. So experiment with placing the hands more towards the end of the grip or closer down towards the shaft of the club. From here, we're then going to work from the ground up. We want to have our feet nice and close together, only about the width of a club head apart, with the ball directly in the center of our feet. Taking our grip, if we place the club out in front of us and hold it so that the shaft of the club is about waist high, we're then going to tilt over from the waist, slight flex in the knees until the head of the golf club is resting on the floor. From this position, I'm then going to slightly favor my left leg with my weight. So I've got slightly more pressure going into my left foot than I do to my right. Now, the biggest thing, if this is our first time hitting shots either from grass or certainly at least trying the chipping shots here, we need the club to hit the ground. So as I'm swinging through, I'm looking for a little bit of the grass to be dislodged as I swing. Don't be scared of hitting the ground. We need to make sure we do it to get that contact on the center of the club face. The only problem that we might get is if we see the club dig into the ground a little bit. Now, generally that's gonna be because the handle of the club is too far forward, the face of the club's too far left, and so that front part of the club digs into the ground. So taking our grip, taking our stance, ball position in the middle, the swing itself, the tempo, the pace of the movement is very similar to what we then do when we're putting. So the rhythm is nice and smooth and the length of the swing is roughly the same back as it is through. To control the distance, I then gonna make the swing either longer or shorter to try and get the ball to go further or shorter. Now, the last thing we want to consider is the trajectory or the height of the shot that we're gonna be playing. Now, we wanna think of this in the same way that we would do if we were throwing a ball. So if I throw this ball towards the flag, and keep the trajectory very low. The ball is going to run a lot further than it flies through the air. And it doesn't require a lot of speed. It doesn't require a lot of effort to get the ball to go towards the flag. If I throw the ball now much higher, to get the ball to go towards the target requires a lot more speed, a lot more effort to get the ball to go the same distance. Now the same is true when we're using these golf clubs. So if I use a sand wedge here first, as I get into my setup, this ball is gonna be coming out a lot higher. So I'm gonna need, relative to the seven iron, a bit more speed as I swing through to get the ball out and towards the flag at the back. Now, if I change to my seven iron and do the same, sh uh, the same shots, try and go for that same target, the swing that I'm going to need is gonna be much, much shorter. I'm landing the ball a lot closer to me And now that ball is going to roll out rather than fly most of the way towards the flag. 
So when we're practicing, when you're trying this out either here on the on a short game area by a chipping green or on the driving range, experiment with using a few different clubs. Try using a very lofted club like a sand wedge. Try using an even less lofted club than a seven iron. Try like a five iron or even a fairway wood and just see how that ball reacts as it comes off the club face. Finally, let me leave you with a little practice drill. So for this, all you need is a tee that we're gonna place into the ground or if you're on the driving range, something like a bottle cap or one of the short rubber tees to help us with the impact on the ground which are then going to improve that contact on the ball. So to begin with, with your tee, we're going to place it into the ground and we're going to leave a good sort of couple of centimetres above the grass. When we then make our swing, all we're looking to do is try and hit the tee out of the ground. So same setup that we'd have if there was a ball there, back and through, just trying to hit the tee out of the floor. Now, if we're able to do that with the tee a couple of centimetres out, we're then going to now push the tee in further. So as I push the tee in this time, it's really far down, only just above the blades of the grass. And the drill is exactly the same, just makes it a little harder. So as I get into my setup, back and through, dislodging that tee, and that's gonna really help us with the impact there. Hope you find these tips useful. Give it a try next time you're out on the, uh, on the chipping green.